for the Salt Lake City boys to ride. We're down uh, near Thanksgiving Point, so a little south. Uh, we're in Happy Valley right now. Yeah. Hopefully my audio works, because I'm using the backpack because I couldn't find my adapter, and it's still easy to find it. So this is it. But I'm excited for this. The weather is nice today. It's November. I've got a lot of stuff to update you guys on. Well, not that much. So, Artie Woolen got a new job. So this one is a lot closer to my house. So I'm not riding 30 miles or driving 30 miles a day. And uh, it's only like two miles away from my house. So I'll save a lot of gas money. It's about the same pay. I get weekends off now. It's a nine to five kind of thing. I get holidays off. It's just a much better setup. I did enjoy the oil and tire job, but this one's just a lot better, and I got, I got some of my close friends working there too, so it should be a good time. So I'm pretty excited about that. The Mystic Geeks are right there. Ah. What? A little nervous. I did get a little nervous. I got really nervous. That's a little too high for me. <laughs> <laughs> his hands over his ears. We're too loud. Oh, and other huge news. I got a doggy. Her name is Luna, and she's two years old, and she's pretty well behaved. But I'm worried she has separation anxiety because anytime I put her in a room by herself, she freaks out. So I got to work on her with that. Um, and she'll get in the trash if you're not paying attention to her. But really, that's it. She's potty trained. She doesn't try to run away. She really lets you know when she needs to go to the bathroom. She only seems to know sit right now, but she's a really good dog. She's half uh, Australian cattle dog and half pit bull. She's kind of disproportionate though. She's got like a pit bull, pit bull kind of torso, but little muscles, but cattle dog legs and paws and cattle dog tail and ears. She's a little pit in her face. But other than her face and her torso, it's like all cattle dog. Even her first cattle dog, like a blue tick, that blue tick color. And, Kind of, a, I guess her first kind of um, pit bullish, like really short and soft. But yeah, she's, she's a cool little girl. Um, this is another one of my end of season rides. I keep saying that in all my videos, it might be my end of season ride, but the weather was nice today. I had the day off, so we had to do it. I start the new job on Monday. I'll have already started by the time I upload this. But. Oh, good. Look at that. My uh, turret signal fell off again. <laughs> I need to do something about that. And now it stinks so real good. Okay, stay there for a minute. I gotta fix my uh, doing gear. It's like bent. <laughs> stay. <laughs> okay, definitely stays on there. This is around, I forget your name, I'm sorry, but Moto Vader? I think he vlogs around this area. So I'm excited to meet him next riding season and go for a ride, get up Alpine Loop or something. <laughs> I keep asking you guys to forgive me for not changing out my lens yet, but I still have it. So it's really my laziness. I have an extra lens. I just haven't swapped it over yet. I think I might need a special tool, but I don't know. But anyways, here's the Utah Lake. It's really beautiful right now. Really blue. Kind of a little bit of a steam coming off of it it looks like uh, at least in the distance i don't know if you can see that probably not but there it is that's a, a cool little route i mean look at it and you can see the snow top on the mountains i'm sure i'm not a fan of that <laughs> not a winter sports kind of guy so light blue sky blue it's really pretty out here We're cool if this was all green but it's like that side but whatever oh good my uh signals hanging off again. <laughs> I need to do something about that. Look at this huge straightaway. Oh 
holy shit. And that's 140, that's the fastest I've ever been. <laughs> And meanwhile, I freaking uh, Motonocity and uh, do it Dan are racing up to like 190. They're gonna have to get my bikes fast, and then I hear that. And, man. There you go. Alright, so we're in Eureka, Utah right now. Kind of a cool little canyon. My camera froze up at some point, so I don't know if I got all the crap from the. Uh, the cool little canyon right over here. I don't know. I got I got a little 150 mile an hour run in. Michigan Gaines got 150 as well. 152, according to a speedo. So that was pretty freaking fun. Uh, we're gonna go to this place called Sand Mountain. Apparently, I've never seen this area. So apparently, it's like sand dunes and stuff. So it's kind of a cool little ride. This cool little uh, old school town. So actually, uh, one of the guys we're riding with, I have terrible name, sorry, I forgot it, of course, but he's from San Bernardino. <laughs> he's been here since, uh, he's been living here since 2011, I guess, but yeah, he's from San Bernardino, California. He's on a ZX-10R, that's what his bike is over there, so. It's the BXD. For any of you that are curious, it's uh, 55 degrees according to my bike, but it feels like it's getting colder. I'm kind of shivering. Gosh, man, it really does remind me of driving through Colorado. I do enjoy those long trips, long road trips. Looks so bad. So this is where all sorts of people go with their dirt bikes and stuff. I don't know, if you'll see it in the video edits, but there's been a whole lot of trucks with dirt bikes on the back on the way over here. Taking a Ducati to the sand dunes. with this video um it's fun right now here with these guys it, it's a really cool place makes me want to get a freaking dirt bike or a quad bike i don't know <laughs> don't know what to say it's probably i keep saying this but thanks for watching another episode of busy flats motor Vlogs.